from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Perfect. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Bobby Brown, I'm glad you couldn't block the movie because it sure was good. Yeah. Last night at eight o'clock on um, TV One, and I missed the BET Hip Hop Awards, so they were on last night. Well, I was busy. <laughs> I could barely watch two hours of a movie on a, on a school night. But apparently Cardi B, whose personality I love, whose music, like I, I'm rooting for her. She was the big winner of the night. Yes, Cardi B. She won the award for Hustler of the Year, Single of the Year, and Best New Hip Hop Artist. Good for her. Plus, today is her 25th birthday, so you know she's gonna get turnt. As well you should, Cardi. You deserve it all. Hey, it's, cold, yeah. it's, it's freezing. It's cold. Was this sitting here since yesterday's yeah. show? No. Well, I don't mind iced tea. Okay. Chuck said don't drink it. He's always looking out for my best well-being. He's always concerned somebody's gonna drop something in my drink. All right, <laughs> now look. Joni, who mics me up in the morning. So she goes, I like your necklace. I said, I've had this necklace for a couple of years. Hello, Leah Remini gave it to me. H, D, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh, 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 uh. How you doing? I love gifts. Anyway. Things are worse for this Harvey Weinstein. And this is a very awkward story to talk about because there are, we talk about sexual harassment here. You know, I know not just uh, women watch, you know, our show, men watch also, but I'm speaking to the women now. You know how it is being a woman in this world. We get ripped off by the mechanic. The plumber comes to our house and tries to stick us up. Uh-huh. Um, we, we apply for a job and they, they're like, uh, unbutton one button. It's horrible. However, I enjoy being a girl. I do, I do, I do. So now the New Yorker magazine has released an expose yesterday claiming that Harvey has raped or assaulted 13 plus women. Well, that's not a good luck number. The story was written by Ronan Farrow. Now, Ronan, who used to work at MSNBC, is a journalist by career, but also the son of Mia Farrow and allegedly Woody Allen, although I squint and I see Frank Sinatra. And you remember, Mia and Frank did date back in the day. 
not saying anything, just saying. I see no Woody Allen in this uh, a fine looking young man. Anyway, so in the article, Ronan uh, reveals that one woman in the article is Amber Gutierrez. Now she's a hot model and um, she got Harvey on tape back in 2015, harassing her. Now mind you, this Harvey a guy, all right, he says that, you know, you know, back in the day, you know, when he was coming of age, uh, it was almost acceptable to treat women a certain way. Ladies, you understand? Mm -hmm. You know, give us thigh gappers and make us do stuff and whatnot. Okay, I don't believe it from back then, and I definitely am wondering why it is, if you're talking about back in the day, you haven't straightened up your act so you wouldn't have har harassed this girl in 2015. Okay, now you all can't with your oohs and ahs, okay? This is audio tape only. You've got to listen very closely because what she did, she was harassed by him. But instead of going along with the harassment in maybe landing a role, she went right to the NYPD. Oh, now hold on now. Now they called in Joni, who mics me. <laughs> no, they didn't call in Joni, but they called in a microphone person and put that mic down here, like on Columbo and sent her back to the scene of the crime, oh. allegedly. And she said all the right stuff. You gotta listen close, no oohs, no ahs. Pin drop and go. I'm telling you right now. What do we have to do here? Nothing, I'm gonna take a shower. You sit there and have a drink. Water. I don't drink. Uh, and can I stay on the bar? No, you must come here now. Now you're embarrassing me. I'm now sorry, I, I don't come know. Here. No, yesterday was a kind of aggressive for I me. Know, it, I, I need to know a person to I be won't touched. do a thing. I don't do a thing, please. I swear I won't. Just sit with me. Don't embarrass me in the hotel. I'm here all the time. I'm feeling please, very uncomfortable right please now. Please come in now. And one minute. And if you want to leave, when the guy comes with my jacket, Why you can Why you touch my wrist? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. Because no, but I'm not used to that. I won't do it again. Come on. Sit here. Ah, case closed. Just saying, Suzanne. Yeah, he's close. Mm -hmm. Can't Horrible. say too much. Mm -mm. Jen is listening. Mm -hmm. You know the lawyer lady. Mm -hmm. Horrible though. But mm -hmm. I like your top knot. Oh, thank you. Thank you so You're much. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> this is um. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so this young lady went to the cops and she got the goods. There are other people uh, um, now stepping up, including Mirror Sorvino. Are you serious? Paul Servino's daughter, the mobster? You're messing around with Mira? I know he only acts as a mobster, but still, he's such a good actor that you believe it for real life. <laughs> You're messing with Mira? And Rosanna Arquette is speaking out. They're both claiming that Harvey harassed both of them and that their careers have suffered because well, when last we saw Mira, she was in Wise Guys with Mariah Carey. Clap if you saw that movie. All four of you. Okay. And then Rosanna Arquette. She's from the Arquette dynasty. You know, it's almost like Harvey, if this is true, it's like you have no um, um, thought on exactly who you're, like normally you would think they'd be like random girls with parents with no power. You know, maybe a girl from, I don't know, Neptune, New Jersey or something, you know, trying to make her bones and then she's complaining and then she looked like a liar. But his harassment, alleged harassment, shows no boundaries. How are you gonna harass Angelina Jolie? Oh. oh yes. Minutes after the New Yorker article was released. Now remember, Angelina comes from Hollywood royalty also. Her father is um, John Voight, right? So Angelina came forward and claimed that he made 
unwanted advances on her back in 1998. Wow. Oh, oh, hold on to your wig. <laughs> Ho hold on. An even bigger shocker, because I was wondering where she's been in this whole thing, although I've heard she's been a part of this, Gwyneth Paltrow. Now you know her father is Bruce and her mother is Blythe and she comes from a Hollywood family. She came forward to say that he harassed her as well. And you know, and what do you do if you're Georgina Chapman, his wife? Divorce him? They got two kids? Um, I don't know that he'll never work in that town again because the world seems like it's made for a white man. Hi, white man. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> shady cameraman. What the Richie Cunningham is going on around here? <laughs> um, Hi, nice white man with the red hair. Thank you for coming to our show. Hi, how you doing? But, you know what I'm saying? Like when men of color do something bad, they're buried yeah. under the bus. Yeah. But when a, a white man, particularly a white man of power like this, this is Miramax Films, this is Harvey Weinstein Productions. He's been fired from his own situation. But guess what? You give this a moment. I bet you he'll be back in place doing something. And there will always be some loosey gooseys willing to go along and play the game. <sighs> Harvey has denied all these allegations of non-consensual sex. Georgina is left with two kids and her Marquesa clothing line, who um, she was married to him for one year and then Marquesa was invented. And then he allegedly would have his starlets wear her clothes on the red carpet. Oh, please, that's a fabulous game plan. Yes, like you show your power, you help one another, why not? Except for the pigation of the situation. And you know what, And please, in my mind, he's only getting help now because he's forced to. When you're forced to get help, that means you didn't want that help. Somebody is putting, you know, your hands behind your back and telling you, you go get some help right now and make this look good. I have to say, there's one thing that I love about my lavender chair. And I will continue to tell you this, and I don't care what you think. I got here all by myself. I never got on my knees, never got on my back, never. <laughs> I don't. You know? Wow. Excuse me? Thank you. Thank you. And I don't believe I'm a bad looking woman. I wasn't even a bad looking woman even before, you know, everything that I've done to myself. <laughs> But what I am is a shrewd woman. You know, when you, when you sense something, you leave the situation. It's not even worth it even for that paycheck. You leave the situation, you want to empower yourself so that one day you'll have your own lavender chair to be able to go back to the situation and say, pig, pig, pig. <laughs> Just saying. By the way, shout out to you college girls. I know, <gasps> nope. <laughs> I know professors are younger and younger these days and they're hot. Don't do it. It's, it's not worth that grade. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, this Justin Bieber, well, <laughs> by the way, the only person happy for the entire uh, debacle of Weinstein is probably Bill Cosby. <laughs> However, Bill Cosby, we have not forgotten about you. 
either. Awkward. All right, so Justin Bieber wants to hit the big screen. Really? Why not? How do you know he can't act? Eminem starred in one of my favorite movies, Eight Mile, and did a fabulous job. Justin Timberlake uh, has forayed his uh, singing into acting uh, now and again. Why not? So this uh, Justin uh, Bieber reportedly invited Adam Sandler and David Spade out to dinner. They went to Morton's with a creamed spinach. <laughs> as long as you bring your own hot sauce. <laughs> Don't give me your stupid Tabasco sauce. You know, they try to fool you sometimes. Oh, I go right in my handbag. <laughs> Hood style. Pull out. And a nice baked potato loaded with everything? Are you out of your mind? A little piece of fish? Anyway. So they went to Morton's and they, the three of them had a meal and he was picking their brains as to how to become a movie star. Why not? Who are you going to call, Robert De Niro? First of all, Robert De Niro is not sitting down with Justin Bieber. Second of all, Robert De Niro is not, He's relevant to me, but he's not relevant to... The girls who'd like to see him in the movies. 18, 22. They don't know who Bobby D is. Um, I think that this is great. I have never met Adam Sandler. I met David Spade once at a party. <laughs> um, Justin appeared as himself in Zoolander 2. Well, that wasn't exactly acting if you're playing yourself. <laughs> but he also appeared in CSI when he was younger. So he's got, he's got two roles under his belt. <laughs> Look, you all, he's trying, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Shooting a movie is less strenuous than a 50 city tour. Although it might be less money too. But at this particular point in his life, it's not really so much about the money, it's about the well being and peace of mind. Uh, look, Justin, I wish you well. I wish you well. very bothersome because I have a feeling that it really was sitting out here all night. Is that the hot one? Thanks, Doug. You're welcome. I'll take that. Mm. Don't waste it, though. No, no, no. I'll reheat it later. No. Doug, make sure, excuse me, um, make sure nobody drops pills in it. Thank you. You know how people are these days. Trust no one. Kathy Griffin is returning to stand up. So, here she is doing Kathy in her own way. She wore a Trump mask on the stage as she entered to say hello to people and, and, and flipped everybody the bird. Pick a finger. Yep. Now, there's two observations about Kathy, and then we'll talk about the routine. The first one is she shaved off all of her hair because her sister um, passed away yep. of cancer. So she did that in an honor. Um, that's why she's, uh, but you know what? The good thing is, show the close up of her face. She's got good face, right? A lot of women couldn't pull that off. But that's my first observation. The second one is Kathy normally tells her jokes in black jeans or black leggings. That's Kathy. 
so all of a sudden she's in a cobalt dress with the shaved head and, and, and heels. <sighs> Here's my thing. I don't think that she should have come out with the Trump joke first. I feel like part of her being able to heal from her whole Trump situation is to still tell the joke, but bury it like five jokes down. So after she's on the stage for like 20 minutes, then she does the tr a Trump thing. No mask. That's it. Just, you know, entering the stage that way. Just, just weird. You know what? I'm glad Kathy is back to work because now she won't have to be arguing from that neighbor. We've been talking about this. Who's accusing her of spying on him? Oh, police. That's her boyfriend. He's been here before with Kathy. They've been together for a few, couple of years. This is the neighbor and this is how close their houses are. I told you this story already. Okay, here's Kathy's house and here's Jeff's house. Jeff is like a, a very, very, very wealthy man who's got nothing better to do than Badger Kathy. He says that Kathy's um, security system has the cameras pointed at his house. <laughs> yeah, come on now. As well as the cameras contain microphones where she's listening to everything he's saying. So he's complaining, this Jeff is, that he's gotta stay in the house because Kathy is trapping him. You know what? Then how do you make money to pay this mortgage? Staying in the house. Maybe he works from at home. I always forget about that at home thing. You know, it's always like weird to me, that at home thing, you know, <laughs> at home. I have a friend whose husband works at home, but you know what she tells me that I really like and she loves also? She says, you know, Wendy, every morning he gets up, he takes a shower, he puts on his jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers and then goes to the at home office. He doesn't schlep in a robe and pajamas. If I worked at home, I might be inclined to schlep. <laughs> you know, shout out to all the at-home workers. I hope that you've showered and you're ready to go. Cause we are, we got more great show for you everybody. The very funny John Leguizamo is here, but up next, celebrity lookalikes. So grab a snack and come on back. 